Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Here's a word problem for you. It says that one fourth of the girls in a class have short hair. Two thirds of the girls in the class have medium length hair, while the rest of the girls in the class have long hair. What fraction of the girls in the class have long hair? And if there are 36 girls in the class, then how many of them have got long hair? Okay, so we have two questions, A and B. Now, let's see. One-fourth of the girls in the class have short hair. So, if I put a model here for the whole class, okay, the whole class of girls. So, if I put a model here, let's suppose that this is the model for the whole class of girls. Okay, so this is one whole class of girls. Then, okay, let me first copy this block a few times because I'm going to need it to mark one-fourth and also to mark two-thirds and later we'll also need to find out the rest so I'm going to copy it let's say three times okay so let's mark one-fourth okay so if this model over here represents the whole class of girls okay or all the girls in the class then one-fourth of the girls in the class have short hair Right, so one-fourth means that if we divide this class into four equal parts, then one of those parts would be one-fourth, right? One out of four, so one-fourth. So this one over here represents one-fourth, the fraction one-fourth, and one-fourth we know is the fraction of the girls in the class that have short hair. So this is one-fourth, okay? Now, next, let's see two-thirds. Okay, let's mark two-thirds and let's use the second model over here. Okay, so if the class is divided into three equal parts this time, then two out of those three parts would be the fraction two-thirds, right? Because it's two out of three. So let's put two-thirds over here and two-thirds would be these two pink blocks. So two-thirds of the class has got medium length there. Okay, and this is medium. And this is short haired girls, and these two together are medium length haired girls. Okay. And the rest of the girls in the class have got long hair. Now, how much is the rest of the class? Well, let's see. If we take this whole class now, the last model over here, okay, and we mark one fourth of the girls, okay, here, and two thirds of the girls over here, okay then this is your remaining girls right this is the remaining girls this over here in purple and these are the girls that have got long hair so we have to find out first of all that what fraction of the girls in the class have got long hair now these are the girls that have long hair and we have to find out what fraction of the class this is equal to okay so this is your a now how do you find that out well, if this entire class, okay, if this entire class of girls is one whole, then out of one whole, one fourth have got short hair, two thirds have got medium length hair, then the remainder of them will have long hair. So what we have is we have one whole class out of which one fourth have short hair, two thirds have medium hair, then the remaining would have long hair. So it's one whole minus one fourth and minus two-thirds right so if you take out the short haired girls and the medium length haired girls out of the whole class then the remaining fraction would be the girls that have got long hair so one minus one fourth minus two-thirds is the fraction of girls that have got long hair right so it's one minus one fourth minus two-thirds right so let's find out what that's equal to okay now how do we subtract one fourth and two thirds from one well since these two fractions over here have got different denominators we cannot subtract them in this way so we must first find out a common denominator for both these fractions or actually all three of these fractions because one is also a fraction one is equal to one upon one right so we got to find out a common denominator for all these three fractions and we need to express these three different fractions in terms of a common denominator. Now, we learned previously in many lessons that to find the common denominator, we got to find the common multiple of all these denominators. So we got to find a common multiple of one and four and three. Now, let's see, what are the multiples of one, four and three? We will skip one because every whole number is a multiple of one. So we're going to skip one and we're going to find out the multiples of four and three. 
Okay, now multiples of 4 are 4, 8, 12, 16, and so on. And the multiples of 3 are 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, and so on. All right, now what is the common multiple over here? The common multiple is 12 and 12. And this is also the lowest or the least common multiple. So we'll stop here. Okay, we take 12 and 12 becomes the common denominator of 1, 4, and 3. These three denominators. All right. So what we're going to do is convert each of these fractions, 1 upon 1, 1 upon 4, and 2 upon 3, so that they all have 12 as the denominator. Right, so let's do that. 1 upon 1, well, quite easy. The new fraction would be, or the equivalent fraction would be, 12 upon 12. Then for 1 upon 4, how do you convert 1 upon 4 to something upon 12? Well, you simply multiply 4 by 3, and you also multiply the numerator by 3. So what you get is you get 3 upon 12. So 1 upon 4 becomes 3 upon 12. How about 2 upon 3? Well, you have 2 upon 3, and you know you want to convert it to something upon 12. Now, to get 12 from 3, you multiply it by 4. So you also multiply the numerator by 4. And what you get is, you get 2 times 4 is 8. So the equivalent fraction of 2 upon 3 is 8 upon 12. Now, it's pretty simple to do the calculation. Since they all have the common denominator of 12, you put 12 as the common denominator, then you do... 12 minus 3 minus 8. What is 12 minus 3? 12 minus 3 is 9, and 9 minus 8 is 1. So this is equal to 1 upon 12. So there you go. The fraction of the girls in the class that have long hair is 1 upon 12. Now, how do you put that on the model diagram? Let's see. If you make a model for the whole class, one more time, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a model for the whole class one more time okay and this is the model for the whole class same as this one over here okay so I make this model for the whole class and now I divide the whole class into 12 equal parts okay so here are my 12 equal parts 3 plus 3 6 plus 3 9 plus 3 12 now, the fraction of the girls that have short hair is 1 upon 4, okay? And we just found out that 1 upon 4 is equivalent to 3 upon 12, which means that if the whole class is divided into 12 equal parts, then 3 out of those 12 parts would represent the fraction of girls that have short hair, right? So 3 of these units is the fraction 3 twelfths, which is the same as 1 fourth, okay? So this is 3 twelfths, which is equivalent to 1 fourth, and the yellow ones, these are the girls that have got short hair, right? Now, medium length hair, we know, is the fraction 2 thirds of the class, and 2 thirds, we just found out, is equal to the fraction 8 upon 12, right? So if this whole class is divided into 12 equal parts, which is what we just did, then 8 out of those 12 parts would be the fraction that have got medium length there's so one two three four five six seven and eight now these eight together they represent the fraction of the girls that have got medium length hair okay so i'm going to write that down here medium length hair and the rest of them well the rest is just one block right the rest is just one block and we know that's the fraction of the girls that have got long hair. This is the fraction of the whole class that has got long hair and this is just one unit so it's one out of 12, right? 12 parts into which the class was divided into and one out of 12 is the fraction of the class that has got long hair and that's exactly what we found here, right? 1 upon 12. So what fraction of the girls in the class have long hair? Well, the fraction is 1 upon 12. So 1 twelfth of the class has got long hair. So that's your answer. A. How about B? What's next? If there are 36 girls in the class, then how many of them have long hair? So it's saying that the yellow plus pink plus purple are 36 in number. So there are 36 girls in all. So all these 12 units together equal 36. So if 12 units are equal to 36, then what is one unit equal to? Well, let's see. Let me clear some space over here. So what we have is 12 units, right? We divided the whole class into 12 units. So 12 units are equal to 36 girls, 
right? If 12 units are equal to 36 girls, then what is one unit equal to? Well, one unit is then obviously equal to 36 divided by 12, that many girls. And how much is that equal to? Well, that's equal to three girls. So one unit is equal to three girls. Now there is only one unit that represents the number of the girls that have long hair. So there you go, one unit is three girls. So the number of girls that have long hair is three. Well, that's just one method of finding it out. There's another method of getting to the same answer. Okay, let's call it method number two. Now, in method number two, we're going to use the fraction method. Okay, now we know that one twelfth of the class has got long hair, right? So one twelfth of the class has got long hair. Now, let's see what one twelfth of the class means is one twelfth of 36 girls, right? Because the class has got 36 girls. There are 36 girls in the class. So 1 12th of the class would mean 1 12th of 36 girls, right? 1 12th of 36 girls. And 1 12th of 36 girls means 1 12th times 36 girls. Now, what is 1 12th times 36 girls? Well, if you simplify this fraction, then 12 goes into 36 three times. So you have the same answer. 1 12th of 36 girls is also equal to three girls. So there you go. You still have the same answer just as this one, whether you use the first method or the second method. So out of 36, the number of girls that have got long hair is equal to three girls. That's your answer. Well, that also brings us to the end of this word problem. I hope you understood how to solve this problem and I also hope that now you'll go and solve some other word problems as usual at www.homecampus.com.sg. This is Anne signing off for now. Bye-bye.